Guys, I have a fun little treat for us today. So, go go gadget Wang won mm -hmm. in our Discord in the uh, suggestions. Pointed out that there was a recent episode of Club Random with Bill Maher, and he had Richard Dreyfus on. Now, Richard Dreyfus made news recently because there's this criteria that in order to win Best Picture for the Academy Awards, you have to have something like fifty percent of the people who worked on the movie have to be minorities or gay or LGBT something. Did you know about that? I feel no. like you would know about that. No, but... And Richard Dreyfus is at that age. He's 75. He's at that age where he's just like, well, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> he's right. Yeah, well, no, no kidding. He's <laughs> yeah. like, it's art. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean we have to have these fucking parameters around it to make great art? That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. But um, not, not a lot of people in Hollywood would say such a thing. So I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of funny. I like it when guys enter there who gives a fuck mode right like i'm actually looking forward to the, the when i get to that age i'm just like oh, go fuck yourself i don't care what you think <laughs> yeah, of me. Right. i'll say whatever the fuck i want <laughs> that, it's so that <laughs> stupid like if matt damon crashes a car into another car who you don't you can't tell how many gay minorities were behind the scenes why is why does that matter you can't tell which is why you have to do that you have to force you to do that because otherwise your key grip might not be a latinx black person <laughs> god forbid <laughs> So anyway, this is a very bizarre episode of uh, Club Random. As you know, Bill Maher has people over to his house. He smokes them up. They drink hard liquor. They turn the lights down <laughs> And low. then they say things they shouldn't say <laughs> into a, really, a microphone. They have a really weird conversation. So here's where I'm going to start. Bill Maher is telling this story because they're talking about old Hollywood. Actually, they're talking about the Me Too victims before the Me Too movement. They're talking about Bill Cosby and how he's a prolific rapist. Fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and so that turns into a conversation about Quaaludes. And Bill Maher says, I've only done Quaaludes once. And he tells this story about how he was, it's like 1979. He's living in Manhattan on 8th Avenue in the shitty apartment on the third floor. And he took Quaaludes and passed out for 14 hours with his door wide open in his apartment. <laughs> and he talks about how like, and I had such horrible shit that no one even stole anything <laughs> so that was the story i mean you're gonna we're gonna pick up on the very end of that story and then richard is going to interject with a doozy and bill is very polite here you know richard's an older man although bill's 67 they're contemporaries but check out this and see if you can make sense of this so remember what that setup was this is why richard is interrupting to tell his story and the door was open and no one had come in and robbed or killed me, which showed you how uh, desirable that <laughs> that studio apartment was. Uh, ten people probably came in, they just looked around and left like uh, they were browsing <laughs> at a candle shop. Um, That's what my parents did. So I don't have... My the parents came to the door of my apartment and they were going to take me out to lunch. And they, the door opened and they stood there and then they closed the door and left and never stepped in. Wow. And because they just went, right. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, and, and then we just all imitated one another. You know, uh, I did 11 films. I was always one way or another fucked up and... and uh, really? I mean, working on the set? No, no, I was I was at my apartment. My parents were going to take me out to lunch. They stopped. They took one look at how messy my apartment was, closed the door, never mentioned it again. And they were, as parents, completely appalled that I was that filthy <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Richard, what are you promoting? Why do you need to be on talk shows right now? Like... You're good, man. You have a great career, amazing body of work. What are you doing? Yeah. What was that? That middle part was apropos of nothing. Right. Yeah, yeah, We're, yeah. I mean, 11 of us imitated each other. What? I'm thinking Bill's regretting how comfortable he gets his guests at <laughs> yes, times. I know. <laughs> I totally agree. So then, Richard, and there's an ongoing theme. I didn't pull a lot of these clips because it's just kind of weird, but we'll, we'll cap it off at the end. There's this ongoing theme where Richard Dreyfuss is talking about how even though he was famous, he didn't realize he was famous. And he didn't consider himself a movie star. 
And Bill Maher knows every movie he's been in. He's like, what are you talking about? You were in this movie. You were in that movie. You are in The Graduate in 1967. Like, what do you mean you didn't know you were famous? But Richard Driver's just like, no, I, I had no idea. So Richard says he was in both the best movie and the worst movie in 1966. And so now we have to figure out what he means by the worst movie. Because I guess The Graduate, I think, won the Academy Award that year. I did the best film and the worst film of 1967. Well, we know The Graduate was the best. What was the worst? See, I'm surprised you don't know that The one. worst film of 1967? I don't know. McKenna's Gold. Who the fuck remembers what was the worst film of... Valley of the Dolls. Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> Valley of the Dolls was not the worst film because I was 11 when it came out and soon was masturbating to it. So just what you want to do is have a conversation with a guy in his mid seventies and a guy in his late sixties and talk about jerking off when they were eleven. The last time the show came up with Bert Kreischer, yep. he talked about jerking off in that one oh, too. He loves it. He loves he talking loves about what he jerked it. off to as a kid or yesterday or this morning or whatever. So now he has to try to figure out with Richard's help. You hear how out of it Richard is. Yes. Let's find out who Bill was jerking off to. In that movie, because who can remember? Also, how was he jerking off to movies in this late 60s? You yeah. couldn't watch that at home. What's he talking about? <laughs> Is he fucking Pee Wee Herman before Pee Wee Herman? Yeah, probably. At least Pee Wee was at it like a fucking porn theater. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, now, who's in Valley of the Dolls? There had to Patty be. Patty Duke was the Patty one I was Duke. talking Patty Duke. Okay, but Patty Duke, a uh, handsome actress that never like made my like adolescent masturbation list. Who else? Um, Who else could I have been whacking it to? Uh, there must have been. I, I know there was. Some oh, yeah. Jacqueline Bissett. <laughs> Jacqueline Bissett. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And yet, and with an English accent, which usually is such a boner killer. <laughs> 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 There's just something about that accent that doesn't go. And so with... she did. And that was a big, hot turn on. Who else? There was somebody else who was like... <laughs> who else like jerking um, off? Jacqueline Bissett is classy. And uh, some, there's, there's there a whole be. raft of g women who never made it past grade B. So That doesn't matter to a masturbator. <laughs> yes, good point. I just love this line of questioning. Yeah. You know, this guy, he, he was in this like shitty B film in 1967. Yeah. And Bill's like, yeah, but who were the hot chicks in that movie again? Right. Do you remember? And Richard's like, I don't know. Patty yeah. Duke? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't stop. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so fucking bizarre. Bill, he, have you ever seen Ronan? Nah, there's nobody worth jerking off to in that. Right. What am I going to jerk off to, De Niro? Also, uh, listen, I'm not saying he's being disrespectful, but all of these chicks he's been jerking off to are dead at this point. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little bizarre. So this is w the reason why we're playing clips from this episode. This is where it gets fucking nuts. Because now Bill wants to know what Richard is jerking off to. <laughs> Always, always a great question to ask an old man. But you were already in films. I was plainly masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about when you masturbate? Isn't that the ultimate Jeez. question that could tell you what really a person is about? What do you think about when you masturbate, Richard Dreyfus? I never thought about my mother. <laughs> well, well, I hope and not. I never thought that if I had thought of my mother, I would be thinking incestuous thoughts. That never occurred to me. And yet, incestuous thoughts was the engine that drove my masturbation. Really? Yes. Incestuous I, with who? Who who crossed that street first? Y yeah. Um, Inquiring minds want to know. Your dad? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you brought it up, but yeah. like, no, if I'm it's not your mother, I, well, how many people could it be? I mean, I, and your sister? In the early years, I thought about very little else. Not like, grandma. Who am I thinking of? <laughs> Holy who, fuck. Who are you thinking Who am I thinking of? I, I, I'm asking, who are you thinking of? Because you Inquiring know. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, I mean, you do know. He's so <laughs> For those of you just listening, Richard Dreyfus is practically laying down in he's his so chair. He's so high right now. that he's forgotten how to sit in a yeah. chair. He's <laughs> about to jerk off. His posture is unbelievable. So he's falling out of his chair. 
He's making like the jerk off motion, talking about his sister and shit. <laughs> It's fucking bizarre, right? Needs to go on Lorenzo Ariola's podcast. <laughs> yeah, they can have a conversation. How hot is your cousin? Oh my god, let me tell you about my cousin. <laughs> so then he's falling on the ground. I know it's he's so weird. This whole thing is so bizarre to me. You would think, I guess Richard probably doesn't have like a team anymore. Because you would think like the Pubble sisters, I would be like, hey, you I mean you can't air that? Bill. Yeah, maybe yeah. his sister's there. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Bill goes on to talk about how incest porn is huge right now. He's like, oh, if you go on Pornhub, which Richard's just like, what? <laughs> you know? But he's like, yeah, no, there's all this incest porn out there. And so then they start talking about how hot the porn stars are. And uh, so Bill's talking about that. Um, but there are many beautiful, uh, you know, porn stars who in another era could have been movie stars if <laughs> they didn't always take a bunch of jizz in the face, <laughs> which is like not something that the studio, uh, certainly not in Mr. Mayor's day, uh, looked kindly <laughs> on. Although, of course, they did it in private. Anyway. Well, they so, did it, but and they you, did it for Mr. Mayor, but yes, only in did. a private collection. Oh, yeah. So then they're talking about the fact that, like, back in the day in Hollywood, and actually not that long ago, guys like Louis B. Mayer, would make girls go out the casting couch yeah. and give them oral and shit in order to get jobs. You know, I mean, Harvey Weinstein wasn't the first guy to do this. Kind of oh, thing. you're right, right. And they're they're giggling about it. Oh, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> these girls now. The good old days. Face. Yeah, right. Now, you know, back then, they didn't have uh, 4K <laughs> porn where girls yeah. were getting jizzed on the face. It was just behind the doors. And... Yeah, they didn't have cell phones that record, could catch you on rec- recorded right. camera. Yes. So that's a weird conversation. They get into how bad the Me Too stuff was in Hollywood decades ago and and going back all these decades. And then they get into this conversation about Jewish persecution in Russia in the 1800s. I wish I was making this up, but this goes on for a bit. And so Bill recognizes this is not a fun conversation. And so he is going to segue... Back to masturbating. <laughs> He's a pro. It was, the Cossacks were basically given free reign to kill and murder anyone they wanted. But getting back to my masturbation, who else was in Valley? <laughs> 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 who else was in Valley of the Dolls? Come on. I can almost uh, picture it. Like Who was the a, guy? Not the guy. Not the guy. <laughs> I wasn't masturbating about the guys, weirdo. It's a little homophobic. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Joseph Stalin, did he ever get you hard? <laughs> yeah, not the guys, you weirdo. You weirdo. I love that he goes, all right, let's get back to what, who I masturbated to. This is reminds me of like Gilbert Godfrey, God rest his soul. Like he would just go so deep on things that are from 70 years ago or yeah. 50 years ago. You're just like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of that movie. I don't know most of the actors you're talking about. Why did you want to go back to this? Doesn't make any fucking sense. So then Bill brings it back to Richard wanting to fuck his sister, <laughs> which is always fun. <laughs> you're, you're fucking your sister. What are you? Not the <laughs> one I even ask about. Did this. you ever, did you have a sister? Yes. Did you ever give her what we called a movie, a, a movie actor kiss? No. Oh God, please. I love my sister. Did but she ever ask you? No, we didn't even like each other when we were kids. We were always, we not. were like two. What? Of course not. Yes. No. But you no. stopped that no. hostility We're not, under a white flag, and you literally said, no. "You want to do a movie star kiss?" We're not. We're weirdo. We're not weirdos like you. We we were just we're normal <laughs> people who grew up in New Jersey, and we didn't have memories. I lived in Queens, so it's uh, the same you, thing. Yeah, <laughs> Queens. <laughs> I'll say. What does that mean? <laughs> He's a fag. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sounds like another homophobic slur. But he's not talking about banging guys. He's talking about making out with his sister. Yeah. And I guess that answers the question of what he, what he meant when he talked about incest yeah. being his major turn on. He's obviously really into his sister. <laughs> that that wow. got really weird. Wow. Well, you never practiced making out with your sister? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> you knew it was going south when Richard said, do you have a sister? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, what? Like you never. Yeah. Oh, like you don't know what your sister's pussy tastes like. All right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like that's a thing. <laughs> what? See, that's what happens when you don't have the internet. You make out with your sister. Guys, this this is like the new fucking Howard Stern. He's getting people to say shit 
That like Howard used to be able to get things out of people. And you're like, whoa, he wouldn't say that anywhere else. Bill Maher has figured this out. He's yeah. figured out the formula. He's plying his guests with drugs and alcohol. Yes, that's the way to do <laughs> and then it. They say shit they didn't mean to say. Putting the lights down, hiding the cameras. Yeah. And, hey, we're just not saying it out, man. How hot's your sister? <laughs> <laughs> what do you jerk off? To? Yeah, what do you jerk off to? Like, that used to be Howard's old format. Now Howard's just like, so when you were a kid yeah. and your dad was mean to you, do you think that's fucked you up ever since? Like, right. no, shut up. Yeah, it's just the two of us. Uh, just between you and me. How many uh, external hard drives do you have? <laughs> if I were to, I don't know, raid your house tomorrow, uh, how many images and videos would I find that could get you on the FBI most wanted list? Just out of curiosity. Just, just, just wondering. Fucking nuts. All right, let's talk about more of... Uh, so, so they go on about some other actors that Richard used to work with or whatever, and then this happens. By the way, Diane Cannon may have been in Valley of the Dolls. Wait, I'm getting a masturbation flashback. <laughs> I don't know if it's about Valley of the Dolls, but definitely wait, Diane wait, Cannon wait. was definitely whack material. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. What? <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay. so uh, A lot of I'll, things I don't want to know about. I'll wrap this segment up here. So, as I mentioned... Throughout this interview, Richard's insisting he didn't realize how big of a star he was. Bill isn't buying it. And Richard finally asks the most important question when you're talking to Bill Maher. Okay. And you still don't know you're a movie star? <laughs> right. Okay. So we're in that paradigm. No, I, I actually did know by that moment. I, okay, well, I that was 1978. That was only three years after Jaws. Right. Well, did you live every second of those three years? No, you said for the first 10, 15 years, you didn't know you were Richard Well, Driver. it was a thing that came and went, and <laughs> and it did. And you you have to well, start listening, or else I, I, there'll well, be a quiz, I, and you'll yeah, fail. I'm listening. <laughs> you have to listen, Bill. <laughs> Bill, it's real important during this interview that you listen to what I say. I like that. You have to listen. There's going to be a quiz later. You're going to fail at it. What was my sister wearing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what were my sister's breast size? Trick question. I didn't tell you. <laughs> C. <laughs> the answer is C. The answer was C. Now are you and turned they were on? C's. Now are you turned on by my sister? What's it going to take? What's it going to take to get you into my sister today? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-E.